everybody, Jonathan Holmes here from Destructoid.com, back again for another episode of Talking to Women about Video Games. I'm here in the city of Boston, beautiful city of Boston, about to hit the streets to find a woman to talk to me about video games. Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm not, a, I'm not that bad. Uh, will you talk to me about video games for a few minutes? Yeah. Really? Yeah, let's do it. Thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. So the biggest news of the week, by far, Grand Theft Auto V, the trailer is finally released. Uh, did you see the trailer? Yes, I did. What do you think? I mean, I'm going to buy it, obviously. It didn't blow me away, but, you know, it's going to be a great game regardless. Right, so the track record stands for itself. The question is, though, what about your children? What about my children? I don't have children. You don't have children yet, but if you ever do have children and you play this game, it could turn them into demonic bastards. No, I want them playing it from the womb because I think it will make them better people. <laughs> well, that's a very cute idea, but if you've read the stats and the facts, you would know that playing Grand Theft Auto will affect your adrenaline levels. It will affect your personality, and if you ever do decide to have children, it will turn your children into little bastards who do crimes. That sounds exciting. Well, it may be exciting to you, but you have society to care about, right? I mean, you have to choose. Grand Theft Auto or children? Childbirth or video games? You decide now. I want both. I want it all, and you can't take that from me. But what about the facts that everyone who has played Grand Theft Auto or any mature rated video game has eventually grown up to be an evil person? That's no. You have no facts to back that up. I guarantee it. Have you ever met someone who played Grand Theft Auto growing up who then grew up to be someone who is not evil? Myself. And my boyfriend and my friends. I, actually, everybody I know has played Grand Theft Auto, and they're all genuinely good people. I think they're better because they played Grand Theft Auto. You, uh, have you ever been to jail? No. How many kittens do you kill? None. No kitten killing? No kittens. Not even half a kitten. Do you beat up prostitutes? Nope. I've never even met a prostitute. Well, no, that's not true. I've met one. Seen one. All right, but you didn't beat them up? No, no. So you're telling me that you uh, are living proof that playing uh, Grand Theft Auto growing up, you played it growing up then? Growing up as a child. I remember playing the very first one, Grand Theft Auto 2, on my friend's PlayStation across the street in his garage. And then, you know what, we played football after that. So not only was I playing video games about feeding people up, but I was also still outdoors and having a great time, having a fulfilling childhood. <sighs> All right, this just in, everybody. Grand Theft Auto can be part of having a fulfilling childhood and will not necessarily turn your kids, born or unborn, into Damien from The Omen. Is that right? Am I saying that right? That's right. Thank you so much for talking to me about video games. I really appreciate it. I wanted to grow on. Just going to go down here into the water. Thanks. Looks wet. There's crabs down here. <laughs>